About a year ago, Eyewitness News visited this exact spot at Yevartis Cliff Dam. It was dry with lots of sand patches in this area and tree stumps. Due to recent rains, things have changed and this dam is just over 70%. As dam levels continue to rise, Eyewitness News visited some Western Cape farms to find out how the drought affected production. The Children Farm, neighbours the Tiavatis Club Dam, farm manager in Tandazum Natla said their location benefited them during the drought. We were lucky here. Yeah. Uh, we're not so much affected because we are right close to the uh, dam and there is, uh, what, can I, what I can say, a gone of the Tiavatis Club Dam. Uh, that is so close to us. Uh, we were still able to pump water from, from that piece of the dam. Um, yeah, while we heard that others were actually having nothing to, to, to get out of the dam. Mlata and his team are now looking at better water management techniques, one of which is a drip irrigation system. There is uh, what we call drip irrigation as well, where we just uh, lay you know, the pipe that drips water. Uh, in directly into the into the soil, it is much effective compared to the compared to the sprinkler because the sprinklers are taking water, not are delivering water not just just on the roots but also on the on the rows. On the Kalikstrom farm, about 10 kilometers away from the Avatis Kloof, farmers were not so lucky. Farm supervisor Rita Valentine said extensive planning and adapting production methods was the only way they survived. So we do planning according to this is an orchard, this is what mostly we can produce from this orchard. So we plan our water in that so that we can give most of the orchard that we know that will bring for us the best income so that we can survive as farmers. Valentine added that the lack of water and humid conditions was reflected in the crop harvested last year. There was more apples this year than the year before, but you could have seen in the quality that there was really a need of water. The, the apples, mostly the size was defected. Um, you can see on the colour of apples, sometimes if you don't um, give them enough water, then the colour is mostly pale, you don't have that type of red apple. The farmers built three additional dams to ensure a steady water supply for optimal production. But it will take years before the farm can undo the damage of the drought. Let's say two to three years, because um, according to the fact that we're the drought is like when you're looking at your buds and you can see that they have suffered. And the fact of that, it will take really um, two to three years. Meanwhile, it seems Capetonians have taken heed of the value of this precious resource. In the city, water consumption has reduced from 700 million litres to 500 million litres per day. We've been able to very successfully reduce our um, demand. Um, despite a growing population, despite economic activity, um, and, you know, there aren't many cities in the world that have been able to do so. So we still want to encourage and commend people for uh, using water wisely. Um, we believe that it will be a strong foundation to assist us in the event of any future urban shocks like uh, the drought that we experienced.